okay. Um, I mean, that's a, that's a, a lot encouraging, encouraging because, I mean, one can see activity going on and it, it gives hope that um, that sector will be sanitized and all of that. Then I don't know if the problem of um, Omonile has been totally resolved. Because I know that there was a time a unit was set up um, to take yes. care of that. I don't know if that has been, what successes have been recorded in that regard. Yeah, I think that's the land grab grabbers committee. So we still grabbers have that committee. ongoing as well. Yes, okay. we have that ongoing as well. So we are also working. We are all working together. Um, there's synergy in government. We work with the Ministry of Justice. We actually prosecute on behalf of the people of Lagos, um, which I'm sure you would heard, you have heard about, um, of um, developers and agents selling or renting out units more than they actually have. And um, we have taken up such matters and um, we're prosecuting on behalf of the people. We recently um, got um, judgment on a certain property in Ajao Estate, which has been forfeited to the state government. And we're going to be selling off such a property and giving back um, the victims their monies. So also we had a case that happened about three weeks ago in um, our Yaya area of Lagos, where um, a lady with some gentlemen um, defrauded about, I think, about 148 people and to the tune of about, I think, over 30 million naira. Um, and these are all rentals. So when you start hearing huge sums like that, you know it's an accumulation of... So he had 15 or she had 15 units to, to rent out and she rented or she collected monies from 148 people. Um, so we're handling that matter right now. We had an issue last year in um, Bagada area of Lagos, and that's 70 people. And um, the available units was actually five, and it was sold to 70 people. We had um, another one in Ajao Estate. Um, I could go on with numbers of such numbers. that sort of out for the people of Lagos. So those are the things that we do that um, people expect that government should do for them that we are actually wading into okay. right now. And that's okay. the reason why you we have about... said... As a developer... Yes, continue. Yeah, I was going to say, you spoke about the Lagos State Real Estate Regulatory Authority. Is that a new, is it a new addition to the agencies that you have? I didn't get your question. Yes, I said um, you spoke about the Lagos State Real Estate Regulatory Authority. So I'm asking, is it a new agency? Yes, it is I a new this. agency. Um, it was, okay. Yes, it, it was actually a department under the Ministry of Housing um, during the administration of Governor Raji Fashola. And uh, Mr. Sawolu has actually upgraded it into an agency, um, and it started its operations up in February 2020, and um, it's mainly to sanitize the real estate industry. Okay, okay, okay. So what other pro uh, um, projects should we look forward to between now and end of the year? Oh, good. So we're going to be looking forward to commissioning 1,000, at least 1,500 units that would go into the housing stock in Lagos State. We're also okay. um, looking at some other policy initiatives that would be to the advantage of the people of Lagos. Um, most of the fraud cases that we've had in real estate have, have been um, subscriptions to off-plan developments. And when I talk about off-plan developments, so those are the developments where um, developers have actually asked the people of Lagos to subscribe to structures which have not been built. So we found out that a number of these um, um, development developers who have told Lagosians to put monies into such projects have actually not delivered those projects to the people of Lagos. So we intend to have a meeting with the stakeholders in the industry, with Mr. Mr. Governor is going to chair those meetings, where we're going to say, okay, if you're doing an off-plan development, we need to know who your bankers are. You need to have a, an escrow account in place for those developments. And then we need to have project managers 
who would release those monies to the developers in a timely fashion. We don't want the situation where people subscribe to such projects and at the end of the day, after those subscriptions, the people of Lagos do not get those units back. So those are one of the things that we're looking into. We also want to mitigate the problem of Lagosians also in the real estate sector when it comes to um, something which they call um, um, those, you know, the caution fees. Yeah. Quite, quite a number of um, Lagosians are asked to pay caution fees, which is promised back to them upon the um, expiration of their leases or rentals. And um, it is dependent on whether you keep that property in good use or you do the damage. So we found out that most times um, tenants do not get this. We're wading into landlord-tenant relationships. That has been a major headache to the people of Lagos. And um, I tell people here that um, real estate is our oil in Lagos and we intend to make sure that everything concerning our real estate is sanitized and meets global best practices. Okay. Can you tell us a bit about your background? I know that you also you, you have um, a background in real estate. and Can you share with us um, what you've been up to before coming into public sector? Actually, I don't have a background in real estate. I'm a lawyer. So okay. you will notice that most of the things that I do um, here yeah. in the Ministry of Housing is on the legal side, on policy, yeah. housing policies, and um, ways that we need to create enabling environments for the people of Lagos and for the business environments in real estate. Yes. Okay. So um, I'm, I'm a lawyer by profession. Okay. But how do you see the... Um, you, you've spoken about the role of government, spoken about the role of private sector. How about the people? What are we supposed to do uh, to also help the policies that you've spoken about? So I tell people we, we have a slogan which is called um, pause before you or it can also be termed as pause before you pay so in real estate we have players in real estate so when i say pause before okay. you play it, it's telling you um make sure that um you do your due diligence and the first dilig diligent thing that we want you to do is make sure that that practitioner that you're dealing with is actually registered registered with the Lagos state real estate authority um the registration process is is seamless for the practitioners okay um today i've looked at a letter of um a, a a legal practitioners firm asking us to verify or let them know if a particular um estate value or surveyor has registered um with the agency before they can go ahead and do business with them those are the kind of things that we expect the people of Lagos to do. So I tell people, government is a two-way street. We give you and you give us back in return. We can only help you if, we, if you help us. And the only way you can help us is making sure that whoever you deal with when it comes to real estate is registered with the state government. When our registration process is complete, we're actually going to publish on our website a list of developers in Lagos, a list of agents in Lagos, and um, you can go to that website and you can choose one of those registered. We've had people call us from abroad um, since they've um, heard about this agency, asking us if they can deal with particular real estate um, organizations. And we tell them, okay, this person is registered with us. This person is not registered with us. We can only help you if we know that your people are registered with us or that th that person or that practitioner is registered with us. If that practitioner is not registered with us, we don't even know where to find them. So that's why we urge the people of Lagos that do not deal with anybody who is not registered with the state government. Okay. Okay. Then um, the last one, I'd like you to um, also enlighten us on what an average person should do, just like you said now, before buying land or buying property or what are the so that they don't get to lose their deposits and all that. What are, what are the basic steps to take for anybody to, if anybody en engages in buying land or property or flats or apartments anywhere? Okay, so a, num a number of people 
have called into our offices asking about um, practitioners, like I said. So the yeah. first thing you do is call. I'm going to give you our numbers. We have not started offload, um, uploading those names or those companies on our okay. website, but we're going to start that very soon. But the first okay. thing that we need you to do is call our numbers to verify if those people are actually registered. So I'm going to, if you, if you permit me, I'm going to read out yes. um, that information. Yes. Yes. It's called yes. the Lagos State Real Estate Regulatory Authority. Okay. So we have our website, which is uh, www.lasrera.com, and that's L A S R E R A dot com. Lasrera dot com. And then we have our Instagram page, which is Lasrera One. L A S R E R E One. Lasrera One. L A. We have a quick L A S. L A S R E R A. Lasrera. Okay. We have a Twitter page, which is at Las Rera. And okay. our office address is block, 20, block 21, first floor, Alausa Secretariat, Ikeja, Lagos. Okay. okay. And I also have our phone numbers. Our numbers are 0901. Okay. 9999. Okay. Nine okay. seven seven. Okay. We also have another number, O nine O one. Okay. Nine nine. Nine nine. Okay. Nine nine seven. So I think nine, the first nine, one has seven. five nines, and the second one has yes. six nines. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So this so this you can contact of... us. We are available. We are available five days a week from eight a.m. to sometimes we're here till seven p.m. Um, you can call those numbers and you can check if those people that you're going to be dealing with are actually registered with the state government. It is the law of the land. It is the law of Lagos State, um, and that everybody who is in real estate business must register with the state government. We're doing this for the sanity of the, the, the people, for the sanitization of the industry. We're doing this to conform with global best practice. All over the world, you find out that there's a real estate regulatory authority dealing in such issues, um, mitigating problems within um, um, buyers and sellers in real estate. And we also want Lagos to, to, to be like that. We want... Um, international investments in Lagos. Oh, I, I, I forgot to mention something to you. Okay. So right now, you know, a, a lot of people always tell us that um, this law is always on the side of, of the tenants. Yes. And um, how do we protect the landlords? Um, so I, I have good news. Um, we have something coming up, which is called the model foreclosure law. And that's the interest of... Um, model foreclosure. Model foreclosure law, yes. Foreclosure law. Okay. So what that, that law is um, basically to also protect the interests of the landlords. So we say we want um, um, inf an influx of funds into Lagos for real estate development. And um, stakeholders have come to us and they've said, look, when, when we bring in these monies, there's no law that is backing our investment. Okay. Has a foreclosure process after a mortgage is set up. It it just means that um if I default on my on my obligations the first month, the second month, the third month, a foreclosure order is sent to me and after going through the due process of that foreclosure, I can lose that home. So mostly um the people in Lagos have complained that um they've had sit tight tenants um, or they've had sit tight um, lessees or mortgages or mortgages and, and they are unable to retrieve back their properties. Most times they go to the law courts and they get stuck in the, in, in the courts for years without getting their properties back. Well, it's good news for them. It's, um, it's now a give and take thing in the industry. Um, we want investors into real estate in Lagos. So now that law is in place, it protects both the tenant and the landlord. So when you default on those um, um, contracts, 
the landlord can enter into a foreclosure process to get his property back. And he does not do that without going through the, the, the due process of the law. So there's a notice of foreclosure. It goes through some various steps before you can actually retrieve that property back. And it also says that, that it must be sold back at fair market price. So that we're going to actually protect the, the, the tenants or the, the, the mortgages so that um, people don't start to play um, or do sharp practices with, with the law. So I think that is something that the, the, the landlords and the investors in Lagos need to take away from this conversation as well. Okay, what do you call the law? Mod Mod What's the name of the law again? Model foreclosure law. Model foreclosure, Model law. foreclosure law. Okay. okay. Yes. Thank you very much. We've really had a nice session with you and it's been very educating. Um, we now have a better uh, picture of... Um, what's going on in the housing and real estate sector in Lagos. I'm very happy that um, you're able to meet, uh, meet up with um, um, your company on the program. Thank you once again and have a nice evening. Thank you for, ha Thank you for having Thank me. You. you too. Thank you.